WinNest is the plate nesting software for steel projects. Therefore, only pieces defined as flats and plates can be processed. To start things off, the user must configure import types for the files to be imported. These files can range from DXF, DSTV, or CAM. DXF and DSTV can be provided from a detailer, allowing WinNest to be standalone software if required, whereas a CAM file is generated from WinSteel, another module of Steel project. CAM files will be used for this demonstration. Click on the Import button and then select the CAM file to be imported. Upon importing a file, WinS will ask for a machine to do the job since some companies have several plate machines. Once imported, WinS will automatically separate the pieces by material grade and thickness. For each nesting, there is a list of the parts along with a preview of the item. The stock available to perform the nesting showing the sizes plus the user can add plates along with the remnants from previous nests. And finally, a breakdown of the nesting upon completion, showing each plate and the pieces that are nested in them. Steel Projects handles all the parameters, margins, and marking for all the machines. There is a database for each different machine as well. In this database, the user can control parameters such as lead-ins and lead-outs, change variables based on different grades and thickness, modify the different tools available for the machine, All of this allows unique setups based on the capabilities of the machine. To start the nesting, click on the Optimize Cutting button. From here, the user can nest in a few ways. Nesting manually allows the user to place the piece in a dot desired location rotate them or use symmetry Use common cutting. Amongst many other options.
However, automatic nesting is used most often as with a click of a button, the complete plate will be nested in seconds. Saving remnants and modifying them is also done at this stage. It is possible to have more of the one remnant per plate as seen here. Once completed, the Pathfinder stage is nest. Using a previously nested program as an example, click on the Pathfinder button. The first step would be to assign the necessary tools to complete the plate. The user can now modify the marking drilling and or punching and cut pass as so desired. In addition, elements like bridges, splits, starting points, connections, amongst others, can all be added here. This is an example of a negative bridge. For common cutting, point-point starts must be used. Before exiting this stage, the user can now simulate the program. The stimulation starts with the marking. then drilling or punching and then the cuts. In this example there are common cutting and bridges. Common cutting is on the left hand side bridges to follow on the right hand side. These features prevent material loss and save on consumables. In addition, it is also possible to work in zones and to process piece by piece. Now the final stage of the nesting is to create the shop drawing of the nest. The report will show the pieces are on the plate and which tools are required. This drawing is simply to help track the pieces and plates. From here, the operator can now import the program into the machine and complete the process.